to go and do my daily check. Ugh. Let's go do it. Not woken up yet. Turn up. Not woken up yet. It's Tuesday. I just I need a coffee. I'm gonna go and get a coffee soon. I know. Please tell me I know. Oh, it's raining. Ugh. Putting these ratchets on the outside last night, yesterday, it just makes it easier for me to uh, easier for me to uh, undo the other side. Even if just need to undo one side. this it does light up quite a lot it's <laughs> a bit damp out there right we know the hazards work I've just seen them on So, just gonna finish off a bit of paperwork, and then we can go. Uh, top tip for you, it's not really a top tip, it's just a tip. Uh, the time it should take you from starting your taco to leaving should be about 15 minutes. So, don't rush on any of your um, your daily check. Don't rush on your paperwork. Just don't rush. <laughs> you need to. It needs to take about 15 minutes. If you if it takes less than that, most of maybe like oh well, 
you know, some people say 10 minutes, I say 15. Um, but I, this is what I always do. I always do at least 15 minutes. I've, I've 15 minutes to walk around and uh, paperwork. Anyway, we should be going now. We are going to. We are going to Honiton. I meant, I meant to Google this one last night and I forgot. Uh, so it's uh, MKM. Crisp, look of it. Ah, oh, Kev's on this road. Oh, he's, he's only just he's only just near where I left this morning, though. <laughs> Almost, just another left and then it's over there somewhere, ish. Come on, you can get up the hill. There's only two packs coming off here. After 100 yards, turn left, Gloucester Crescent. So there's, we're not going to lose much weight. Destination. So we can come in. What do you label there? Up and around. Yeah, they've got one. They're still holding one of their own. So perfect timing, really. That's that one done. Oh, let's get out of here. Off to Exeter now. Oh, my ribs are really hurting, you know. I, I thought a week off would probably be all right, but it's still on the mend. I need, I'm gonna get more camera mounts. So when I'm doing reverses, we can, uh, I might actually get one on the outside of the truck. Yeah, the battery may go dead during the day, but uh, I'll use the remote control on it so I can switch it on. Just so you can get a better angle when I'm reversing and stuff, that's all. Right, 
21 minutes. It's always sunny where it's shorts no matter what the weather. Now where are you going to go now Van? Come up here, come up here, go over here. Grubs up! Should I follow it? Go and get some breakfast. <laughs> the Nip to the services. Go around the roundabout and take the fourth exit. I don't know where the services are. Just here in Exeter. Uh, five coming off here, I think it's five, might be less, can't remember, don't care. Um, this one here is basically it's a reversing jobby. 15 foot, 15 foot, hang on a minute, 15 foot, 50. Why is the sat nav taking me this way? We're 15 foot 6. Four points. What's this? 4.77 metres in feet. 15. That ain't. Well, I'm just. <laughs> have I put the. That is, that's not right. What vehicle have I got this set to? My vehicle. I'm going to get out and double check the trailer. I've got it set to 4.8 meters, and that's 4.6 meters. I'm just going to double check the trailer height to make sure I've not done something wrong. Tom Tom was about to send me under a 4.6 meter bridge when I've got it set at 4.8 meters. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of this. Right, so we need to find another way around. Just double check that I'm, I am correct. What is 4.8 metres in feet? So I've actually got the sat nav set, sat -nav set to 15.75 feet, um, and I'm actually 15 foot six. So uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I'm gonna have to back up. Is there a road there? Not really. I'm look at the sat nav. What's uh, nearby? There is. Right, how do I get? around this bridge. It's not even on the map. Why is that not even on the map? I mean, looking at that, I think that bridge height is wrong, if I'm honest. But, um, right, so I need to come in. I need to go there. So I'm going to zoom out put on there. Let's get this, uh, I actually don't need your seatbelt on to reverse, it's not a legal requirement when reversing. The road's quite wide here, I might be able to do a spinny. Come on, get around there. 
Oh, actually, I can reverse into this road here. Where's this woman going? Line side, but never mind. After 300 yards, turn left, A377, Alverton Road. Then you have reached your waypoint. give you a chance to do anything. Straight around you. Can I go left here? Keppel and Bands over there. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna go straight in for the reverse. Van. So why this car's got so close to me when I'm doing a reversing manoeuvre, but never mind. So those ratchet straps are used, they're called reverse ratchet. And uh, they work the same way except instead of pushing up, you pull down so you can use your body weight instead of using your muscles. But I mean, I've been, I've been driving sensibly anyway, otherwise that stack would have gone over. And yesterday when I got in the lorry, when I got in the pits up the trailer, I checked how tight they were from the top of the pack, not from the sides. So they were tight, they were tight. Uh, the, front, the front ones were tight. So I suspect when it was loaded, whoever, whoever strapped the load down knew it wasn't right. Anyway, I've taken pictures, I'm gonna send them to the office now and say this, this is not right, this is, you know, this could be potentially dangerous, especially if we get a driver, a new driver, or somebody who doesn't actually do the job properly and check. That could easily have gone over, especially the hills and roundabouts have been around. This is why you always drive according to what you're carrying. Where's my keys? Where's my keys? Where's my phone? But we got the paper cup. <laughs> Right, I've fueled up with fuel, obviously with fuel. Uh, I can't make that left swing there because otherwise I'll take the fuel pump with myself. I'm gonna have to go behind this guy and swing out. The canopy, it says 4.7 meters on it, but it's not. I've just locked, it's way, way, way over. I mean, the trailer's under it now. Right, we're here now at Newton Abbott. You've been to this one before with me. It's, um, it's 
sometimes tricky to get in and out because of the way everyone just parks outside. Turn left, Brunel Road. But um, we'll get in there. And there's 11, 13 packs coming off, so we'll lose some weight now. I'm hoping we'll lose some of that stack as well. If we don't lose any of the stack, uh, I'm going to ask him to drop it down for me and just spread the weight across the wagon. No point having a top heavy anyway, if we've we got the option the not to. And they're usually alright, the, the, uh, the, uh, the yard manager here, he's, I get on with him alright, I have a bit right, of a laugh, so. You have reached your destination. I don't even come here that often, but he, re he must remember me. You have reached your destination, Fort Road. Look at that palace there. <laughs> What's all that about? <laughs> Someone must be living in that. There's bags of rubbish underneath it. And there's another smashed up caravan down here as well. Or is it moved now? I think it's moved. Okay, so the juice is there. And we're going in this gate here. Be careful of these cars here. Because they're... Uh, I don't want to hit them. Oh, the building work's done now, is it? Right, so we've we've tipped there, and what I've discovered is shut the door. What I've discovered is in it. There's an extra. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Jesus! Well, there you go, mate. that then. Cheers, thanks. Cheers, a lot. mate. See you later. Yeah. Uh, I've discovered that uh, there's an extra pack on for the one we've just been to at Exeter, so we're going to go back to Exeter now, there's no paperwork for it, so it's been loaded on for an hour, uh, so it's been loaded on and uh, not the paperwork hasn't been updated and it actually says on the paperwork for Exeter uh, four items, so yeah, so going back to Exeter now and then we'll be off to Newton Abbott, no, right, Newton Abbott, St. Austell, so that's further that way, <laughs> right, that pack, that was, all the stuff that was stacked really crappy, that's, uh, that's come off now, uh, the customer wasn't happy, uh, you did say, I know it's not your fault, you've not loaded it, uh, but he's taken some pictures of that. Uh, so what time do we get in? 10 o'clock. Okay, I'll go first then. You're going to be stuck behind the truck. There's no cars here normally when there's cars here it's a bit of a struggle to get in and out of this one but when there's none there you can just you can swing over to the right and then you can aim it out i mean you're still close to the gates like but no one coming good
Oh, it's like a racehorse now. It's not really. Nothing like a racehorse, if I'm honest. <laughs> I'll tell you what, as the week's going on, <coughs> this week's going on with these. Uh, After 80 yards, turn left. With the strap under, strap in and strap in and curtains, then. I'm going to ask next week to have. Uh, turn left. Make sure I don't do any of this stuff. Left. This uh, this particular run with uh, the MDF. Come on. Uh, just so I can give my ribs time to heal a bit more. You're welcome. I'm taking up two lanes here because. Yeah, I could fit on that one side, but there's a tail swing that you've got to remember, and cars will get everywhere they can get just to get past you. So sometimes it's better just to take up the entire road to save them from getting smashed up because of their own stupidity. I'm not saying everyone's stupid, but uh, some people are. Ah, back we go on the M5, uh, in west. So I need to take a break in about 45 minutes, I might take any time before then. Uh, I've just grabbed a quick bite to eat, leave an exit to there. The head was only uh, five miles driving away from me, 20 minutes, but I thought it was like a take me truck to where he was, he was on a residential street, so I thought I better not. <laughs> Same turn right, but I still scan everywhere just in case it's not right. It looks like a dead end, this anyway. But it looks like a good turn. Right, that's Bradford's. Yeah, it's juicing right there. late now uh, they load their trucks at night time so they're busy loading their own trucks now <laughs> which, but which what means though what that means is at seven o'clock in the morning normally they start loading their own trucks but at this place it's already done which means I can just come straight in I mean I'll stop here first going to speak to the, the site foreman and see what he says but for now I need to go find somewhere to park up so I'm gonna head down that way Turn around somewhere and see if there's a space, hopefully. Bit of a blind side reverse now. I say a bit of one, it, it, it's a full blind side reverse if I'm honest. 
<laughs> Where's the corner? There it is. I would have liked to have parked there tonight. That would have been nice and easy, but uh, not to be. Right, I can see the kerb. So, if you stay on this angle, you should get round that corner, up a little bit, and a little bit. Just following the contour. When I can't see the contour anymore, just keep basically doing what I've been doing now. See a car likes that stops. Start straightening it up. Yeah, that'll do. Three days. Private road, no parking. Wheel clumping operation. Really? The car park down here. Well, that sucks. I can't turn. Oh, I can turn around there. That'll do. No parking, no turning. What? Right. One of them places, is it? I'd like to see him stop you once you mid turn. I mean, it would be easy to spin around there. I'll turn around in PTS yard then. I'll be thinking of getting a delivery now. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop further up here and uh, well, when some of those cars move in front, I'll uh, move up. I mean, I'm not blocking the gates here, but I'll just stop here for now and then I'll move up in a bit. Bucker's car park there. If their gates are shut, if they shut their gates and park in Bucker's. So that uh, that wagon there, he's just gone straight in. He's just had to <laughs> do a blind side as well. Uh, I suspect he's going to go down and turn around. Um, I don't know what. The, I don't think he's in there. Said any, I don't think he said anything to them. He just stopped at the gate and then reversed back. So I'm going to assume he knows it's. Uh, not going to happen. Oh, right. All right. Where are you going? In there in the morning. Yeah, what have you got? Because they asked me what I've got before they said no. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got six packs and they said no. But he said their wagons are loaded tonight, so you can go straight in at seven. So. And there's no, no, apparently there's nowhere to park on this road, it's all signs saying clamping and everything, but I'm going to wait for these to move and park up there. See you in the morning, brother. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit. <laughs>